Hello guys and welcome to When in Halifax and today's topic is how can a nurse apply for AIPP so if you are a registered nurse this video is for you again guys if you want to learn more about the Atlantic Immigration Pilot Program please click the link because I'm going to send all the video directly to your messenger. So if you want to learn more about the AIPP or Atlantic Immigration Pilot Program, click the link on the description below and I will send all the video directly to your messenger. So anyway, let's begin. So if you are a registered nurse, you are eligible to apply for AIPP or Atlantic Immigration Pilot Program. Again, there are three different programs under AIPP, the International Graduate, High Skill, and Intermediate. So the question now, if you are a registered nurse, if you are a registered nurse, which program you belong? You belong at Intermediate Skilled Worker. Again, if you are a registered nurse, you are, are under Intermediate Skilled Worker. So there are two options actually in the intermediate skilled program. The option one and option two. The option one is the level C in industrial butcher, long haul, and food beverage server. But in option two, you have an experience on a registered nurse, NOC 3012, licensed practical nurse, NOC 3223, uh, and nursing aid and home support worker so if you are under noc 3012 32 33 34 13 44 12 you are eligible for aipp so so what is the for the nurses these are the example title so if you are a clinical nurse community, we have lots of friends that are working with the DOH or the community nursing. You are eligible to apply. It says a community health nursing. So you are a private nurse, private duty nurse. You are also part of 3212. If you are a nursing consultant, occupational health nurses, Nurse, registered Psychiatric Nursing or RPN are considered 3212. So what is 3233? So 3233 is a licensed practical nurse and I believe we don't have a practical nursing in the Philippines. So but this is the uh, practical nurse or the LPN. Graduate Nursing Assistant, Licensed Practical Nurse or LPN, Operating Room Technician, Registered Nursing Assistant. And another um noc that is under the intermediate um skilled worker is 3413 which is considered as nursing aid so these are the example title healthcare aid hospital attendant long-term care aid nursing aid nursing attendant orderly patient care patient service associate psychiatric aid and resident care aid i believe in the philippines this is considered as the caregivers so next is the 4412 home support worker attendant for person with disability family caregiver home support worker housekeeper living caregiver personal aid and personal care assistant attendant and respite worker so this four noc are part of the intermediate worker so if you are a registered nurse, if you are a registered nurse, you have a big chance to apply here in Canada, especially the AIPP program. For AIPP program, your uh, your program is intermediate worker. Um, and then how to apply for if you are a registered nurse is maybe you're asking how to start where to start how to begin sir i am a registered nurse i have a full experience i am currently working as a registered nurse how to apply so this will be i'm going to show you the step by step on how to apply as a registered nurse under aipp program so the first one guys is to type the designated employer in nova scotia so click this guys you will see the business name of designated employers in Nova Scotia. 
The second step is go to a search engine, um, search engine website, which is the Career Bacon, or you can type a job bank, okay, in Nova Scotia. So we will just maximize the Career Bacon, but there are lots of job searching website. But I'll just focus on the career bacon. So when you are in the career bacon, um, find a job, make sure that you choose the different provinces. So you can explore, play around it. You can type New Brunswick, Newfoundland, Labrador, or PEI. For, but for now, for this video, I'll just click the Nova Scotia. And then I'm going to click, click or type the nurse and enter. So when I see all this list of job that is available or listed in the career bacon, what I'm going to, to check is before I click submit resume, I will make sure that this company or business name are listed in the designated AIPP employer. So we will randomly click this one. So registered nurses. So they are looking for nurses. Shanex. So click this one. Before you submit again, make sure if Shanex are listed in the designated employer. So copy, okay, copy, and then control F. Okay, guys, control F, control F, then paste, and then there, here you go. So Shanex is listed as designated employer here in Nova Scotia. So now you can submit or you can apply now click apply now because this company is looking for registered nurses and the company is listed in the designated employer so this is an example of how to apply if you are a nurse this is the example step by step on how to apply for nursing and of course make sure that you are eligible for here Unfortunately, guys, if you are a registered nurse back home, uh, you cannot apply. I'm scratching my nose. But anyway, if you are a registered nurse back home, you are in the Philippines, you are a registered nurse, you, even though you have a 10 years, you cannot practice nursing here in, the, in, in Canada. But you can work as a CCA or continuing care assistant. So what I want you guys, if you are a registered nurse back home, you are not yet registered in here in Canada, what I want you guys to click is continuing care assistance. So this is the, the keyword that I want you guys to search because you are eligible and they can hire you. So if you are applying for nurses, there will be a difficulty uh, that they will hire you because you are not licensed to practice as a nurse here. So even though guys that there is a position nurse in the job bank, as you see in the previous slide, you cannot get that position because you don't have a license to practice here in Canada. So if you have an experience back home in the Philippines for 10 years, 5 years experience in the hospital, what I want you guys to type in the search bar is instead of nurse, type continuing care assistant. Based from my experience, I am a registered nurse. I didn't apply for nurses here. I applied for CCA because I don't have a license here yet. In Canada or Nova Scotia, I don't have a license as a nurse. So what I'm working or currently working as a continuing care assistant. Continuing care assistant is a CCA. It's like a caregiver that is working in a long-term care. So now, if you are a registered nurse, again, type continuing care assistant. So these are the list of the employer that are currently looking for a continuing care assistant. There is a big hope that they will hire you because there you can work as a CCA, especially if you're a nurse in back home. So the next the next step is to make sure that this company or this company or this employer are currently listed in the designated employer. So we will go back to the designated employer list, control enter. So if there's no result, it means that Von Canada are not listed in designated employer. So let's move is Cumberland Lodge. So copy paste, control paste, copy and then paste. So East Cumberland are not looking for a CCA. So we will try. So hopefully 
be able to find at least one just to show you guys so anyway let's try the ocean view continuing care so i know these places guys i know this company they're located here in hrm so here you go so there is a uh, continuing uh, ocean view continuing care center so now that you you now that we know that you can apply for continuing care assistant even though you are in the philippines you are registered nurse even though that you are not yet a license here in canada you can apply for continuing care assistant and the second uh, the second be, uh, the second best thing about it is the ocean view continuing care center are listed in the designated employer so what i want you guys to to do now is to click apply now so there are two hope first the position that you applied you're eligible second the company are listed in a designated employer so make sure guys that you click apply apply it now try to get the chance there's no harm in trying try it so instead of typing registered nurse type continuing care assistant again if you're a registered registered nurse back home you are registered nurse in saudi arabia or abu dhabi for several years disregard the nurse instead type in the job search in website continuing care assistant click search and then you will see all the job posting and then before you click apply before you submit resume make sure the company name or company are listed in the designated employer list here you go that's the list so i hope you guys you're able you find it helpful and informative if you find it helpful please click the subscribe button share it to your family share this video to your family to your loved ones to your friends because sharing is caring and follow us also in our facebook page which is when in halifax join our facebook group which is uh, Pinoy Immigration Forum by When in Halifax. It's a growing family, guys. So join our group and be updated. Again, share this video. Press the like button, guys. Thank you and bye-bye. See you in our next video. Bye-bye.